We're now going to derive the IS curve. To do that, we start with what we know. We have an interest rate investment relationship. We know it's negative. This gives us our investment function. In a previous example, at an interest rate of 10%, investment was 150, and the interest rate of 8% investment is equal to 200. When we go to the goods market, we have the demand for goods and services. Included in the demand for goods and services, we have consumption spending, government spending, and also investment spending. So the interest rate of 10% investment was 150. Let's assume the vertical intercept is equal to 300. Now we can establish the equilibrium level of income. Can you do that? How does one do that? Yes, we were given the multiplier is equal to 5. The equilibrium level of income equals 5 times the vertical intercept. 5 times 300, and that is 1500. So the equilibrium level of income is 1500. So this point, let's make it point one, represents equilibrium in the goods market if the interest rate is equal to 10%. Now we can transfer this to the bottom diagram, showing the relationship between interest rate and level of income. We know at an interest rate of 10%, the goods market is in equilibrium at 1,500. So this point represents equilibrium in the goods market with the interest rate of 10%, level of production 1,500. Let's assume there's a decrease in interest rate from 10% to 8%. Investment will increase from 150 to 200. Investment is a component of demand for goods and services. So if investment increase, demand for goods and services will also increase. So the demand for goods and services increases, the interest rate of 8%, investment is more, therefore the demand for goods and services is more. Investment increased by 50, so autonomous investment increased to 350. And the equilibrium level of income? How would you calculate that? Again, 5 times, but now it's 300 and 50. And that is equal to 1,750. So the equilibrium income level in the economy increased to 1,750. So on our bottom diagram, an interest rate of 8% corresponds with an equilibrium level of production of 1,750. So point 0.2 represents equilibrium in the goods market for a given interest rate 8% and level of production 1,750. Point one represented equilibrium level of, in the goods market, interest rate 10%, level of production 1,500. If we link these points, we have the IS curve, giving you all the combinations of interest rate and income where the goods market is in equilibrium.